and welcome to part 14 of My Report on the McCarrick Report by Patrick Parson. Today we will look at Chapter 4, Appointment as Bishop of Matuchin, 1981, beginning on page 27 of the report. When the Diocese of Matuchin was created by the Holy See in 1981, from a portion of the existing Diocese of Trenton, McCarrick was a candidate to be its first bishop. The Apostolic Delegate received strong recommendations for McCarrick from bishops and other clerics in the United States. One bishop, unnamed in the report, described McCarrick as highly gifted, pastorally zealous, and very knowledgeable about the eastern coast of the United States. It would be easy to try reading between the lines today of what the recommendation does not say about McCarrick. But at the time he was highly recommended from different sectors. In Eterna, the Apostolic Delegate to the United States Archbishop Pio Lahi described McCarrick as the leading candidate who was ready to serve as ordinary of a residential see. The only concern mentioned in the Turna about McCarrick was his obvious ambition to be promoted in the ecclesiastical hierarchy. But the Turna also said the informants who brought up this defect in him did not pull their vote from the candidate. One even wrote to the apostolic delegate that it would have been wrong to disqualify McCarrick for only that flaw. Based on this, Pope John Paul II appointed the 51-year-old McCarrick as the Diocese of Matuchin's first bishop on November 4, 1981. In accepting the appointment in a handwritten letter to Pope John Paul II, McCarrick thanked the Pope, quote, for giving me this wonderful opportunity, unquote. And McCarrick also pledged his, quote, loyalty to the See of Peter and in a special way and affection to yourself, unquote. And that's it for Chapter 4, Appointment as Bishop of Matuchin, 1981, ending on page 28. As we see, there didn't seem to be any perceived issues to prevent McCarrick from being elevated to bishop. Other than an expressed concern about his ambition, everything said about him was a recommendation. Now, who were the individuals asked about McCarrick's qualification? The report does not go into that. Were the people questioned randomly or specifically selected? How could McCarrick receive such strong recommendations if he was involved in immoral activity that goes against church law? There is no hint of answer here. And Apostolic Delegate Archbishop Pio Lahi has an interesting controversial history which is not discussed in the report either. Before we conclude today's segment, it might be good to do some clarifying first. The report talks about a turna. A turna is a list of three nominations or three nominees for institution into a Roman Catholic benefice or bishopric presented to the Pope or other authority. The report also discusses the ordinary of a residential see. An ordinary is a church officer who, by reason of office, has ordinary power to ex execute laws. A C is another name 
for a diocese or archdiocese. And an apostolic nuncio is accredited to civil government as well as episcopal. He is an ambassador of the Holy See. Sometimes an apostolic delegate is used instead, who possesses only an internal or religious mission and not an external or political one. The Holy See did not have official ties with the United States until 1984. Prior to that time, the mission of the Holy See in the United States was headed by an apostolic delegate who did not hold the rank of ambassador. In our next segment, we will begin Chapter 5, Tenure as Bishop of Metuchen, 1982-1986, where we will begin to see if McGarrick lives up to the expectations placed on him as bishop of a new diocese. And when will we start finding out more about his hidden activities? Until then, let us ask forgiveness for ourselves and others. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <laughs> 